In Shadows of the Mind, renowned physicist Roger Penrose continues his exploration of one of humanity's greatest mysteries, the nature of consciousness. Is consciousness something we can understand through traditional physics, or is it something beyond the realm of computation and logic? In this thought-provoking work, Penrose delves into complex theories of quantum mechanics, mathematics, and the limits of artificial intelligence. Today, we're going to unravel these ideas and explore how Penrose's theories challenge the very foundations of science and philosophy. To understand Penrose's theories, we must first address one of the central themes of Shadows of the Mind, the relationship between the mind and mathematics. Penrose is a firm believer that mathematics is more than just a human invention. In fact, he argues that mathematical truths exist independently of human thought in what he calls a platonic realm. This view is rooted in the philosophy of Plato, who believed that abstract mathematical concepts are not merely human creations, but real and discoverable aspects of the universe. Penrose contends that consciousness itself may be a key to understanding these mathematical truths, which often seem to arise in the mind as a kind of intuition. According to Penrose, we experience mathematical insights as moments of sudden realization or understanding which seem to transcend ordinary logical processes. These insights, he believes, point to something deeper within the fabric of reality. In The Emperor's New Mind, Penrose famously challenged the idea that consciousness can be explained purely through computation. He argued that no matter how advanced artificial intelligence becomes, it will never achieve true human-like consciousness because computers cannot perform the non-algorithmic processes involved in human thought. In Shadows of the Mind, Penrose extends this argument by introducing Gödel's incompleteness theorem as a key piece of the puzzle. Godel's incompleteness theorem states that within any formal mathematical system there are true statements that cannot be proven within that system. Penrose uses this theorem to argue that the human mind can grasp mathematical truths that are beyond the reach of any computational system. This means that the mind has the ability to perform tasks that cannot be reduced to algorithms or formulas, something that computers will never be able to replicate. So far, we've looked at the limitations of computation, but Penrose takes his argument one step further. He proposes that the human mind may be connected to quantum mechanics, the strange and often unintuitive field of physics that governs particles at the smallest scales. In Shadows of the Mind, Penrose suggests that quantum phenomena might be involved in consciousness in ways that classical physics cannot explain. Quantum mechanics shows that particles can exist in superposition, meaning they can be in multiple states simultaneously until they are observed. This is in stark contrast to classical physics, where particles have definite properties. Penrose argues that the brain may harbor quantum processes within its microtubules, tiny structures inside neurons that play a crucial role in cellular function. These quantum processes could be at the heart of conscious experience offering an explanation for the non-computational nature of human cognition. In his earlier works, Penrose proposed the idea of objective reduction, or OR, as a potential mechanism for how quantum states collapse. Unlike traditional quantum mechanics, which holds that the collapse of a quantum state occurs upon observation or measurement, Penrose believed that gravity itself plays a crucial role in this collapse. Penrose theorizes that when a quantum superposition reaches a certain level of complexity, gravity causes the superposition to collapse into one definitive state. This objective reduction is what brings about consciousness, as it marks a transition from the indeterminate quantum world to a specific conscious experience. This process, according to Penrose, is non-algorithmic, further separating consciousness from computational systems. In Shadows of the Mind, Penrose takes a deeper dive into the mechanics of the brain, suggesting that quantum processes could be taking place within microtubules, the tiny structures within neurons. These microtubules, which are involved in cellular structure and function, could act as the site of quantum computation within the brain. 
Penrose, together with anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff, later expanded on this idea, proposing the theory of orchestrated objective reduction, or ORCH, O-R. This theory combines Penrose's objective reduction theory with Hameroff's understanding of quantum processes in the brain. The theory suggests that quantum states within microtubules could be orchestrated in a way that leads to consciousness. Despite the depth of Penrose's insights, the central challenge remains. How do we fully understand consciousness? It's a question that has eluded philosophers, neuroscientists and physicists alike. Penrose believes that consciousness is not something we can explain purely through materialism or computational models. Rather than being a simple result of complex computations or algorithmic processes, consciousness, according to Penrose, is something profoundly different and it may require quantum mechanics to explain it. The mind is non-computational in nature, and while machines may simulate intelligent behavior, they can never truly possess the self-awareness and subjectivity that humans experience. Penrose's theories also challenge the future of artificial intelligence. If consciousness is tied to quantum processes, then no matter how advanced an AI becomes, it will never truly achieve consciousness as it operates based on classical computation. AI systems might simulate human behavior, but they, may, they will never have the subjective experiences that we associate with being alive and conscious. According to Penrose, this creates a clear distinction between simulating intelligence and experiencing consciousness. AI may be able to simulate rational thought, but it cannot experience the inner workings of the mind. Penrose's quest for understanding consciousness is not just about solving a philosophical riddle. He believes that uncovering the true nature of consciousness could revolutionize our understanding of physics, biology, and even the fabric of the universe itself. His theories open the door to a unified theory of consciousness that might merge the realms of quantum mechanics and neuroscience. While Penrose's ideas are groundbreaking, they remain controversial and much more research is needed to fully understand how quantum mechanics and gravity interact with the brain to produce conscious thought. In Shadows of the Mind, Roger Penrose invites us to explore the deepest mysteries of the mind, proposing that consciousness is far more than just neural firing or computational processes. Instead, it might be the result of quantum processes tied to the very structure of the universe itself. Whether or not we fully understand these ideas, Penrose's work remains a vital part of the ongoing search for the nature of consciousness and the boundaries of human knowledge.